Time to talk alfalfa with the experts, and that's Don Miller, Director of Product Development with Alpharex. And uh, Don, boy, I'll tell you, we had a year to forget, I guess, as far as alfalfa is concerned, and uh, it was not a it was not a fun year. That's for sure. Well, Take us through the year and what happened and why. <laughs> well, I, I think uh, yeah, it was a significant winter kill all across the U.S. Uh, areas that uh, had lack of snow uh, cover of uh, the alfalfa, the temperatures of the soil at four inches got uh, 12 to 13 degrees or lower, and we killed some alfalfa that way. Or uh, some areas had heaving. Uh, other areas had real wet conditions and uh, got ice sheeting and. If you have ice across that alfalfa field more than 30 days, uh, it's going to die of lack of oxygen. Even if you've got a, a variety that has uh, good winter survival, that ice sheeting uh, can kill a lot of plants. As we go into this winter, what are your optimistic observations or realistic observations about getting through the year to next spring with our alfalfa? Well, I, I know a lot of people uh, tried to nurse some of those crops. Uh, they got some winter damage and... Uh, uh, and they may be going into the winter in a, uh, some difficult situations. So they need to evaluate their fields and just see how, how strong they are. Uh, one thing, make sure you had good fertility. Potassium is really important uh, for uh, winter survival. Uh, make sure you've got that good fertility out there to help those plants uh, survive that. And then also, uh, if you were a little bit aggressive in your cutting uh, uh, schedule this year, uh, cutting pre-bud or bud stage, uh, you needed to let that that last cut uh, extended out a little bit where you got some flowering out there and those plants had a chance to replenish uh, the root reserves before they went into the winter. Because we really don't need to to rush because we don't have much quality change, do we? No, uh, I, I think uh, there towards the end, it's really important to, to let that alfalfa replenish the root reserves before you go into winter and uh, just make sure that those plants are in the best condition possible to survive that winter uh, uh, and that's one of the things that you can do on the management side. Uh, extend that last cut and um, make sure that those plants are healthy going into the winter. And that's what we need, healthy plants in the winter. So when they come out in the spring, they're healthy as well. Don Miller with us once again on our Alpharex Asset Expert Program. Don, Director of Product Development with Alpharex.